So, the story of a 2020 congregation is a very different story than what we're going to hear on Marketplace or on the BC, BC Business News because, of course, they're reporting on the story that's existing um, uh, today. So our story is going to be different. And we start this story by growing a different consciousness, a 2020 consciousness. Now, as the 21st century began, many members of congregations have been listening uh, to the scientists and what they've been saying. And they've begun to make many changes. And so as consciousness has grown within the members, so also they began to say, OK, as a congregation, we need to do more. And that's when this particular congregation that I'm describing out of my imagination began to call itself a 2020 congregation. They said, it's, these are big changes, so we have to give ourselves time. But we also need to keep a focus. And for the next decade, this needs to be a major focus. Now, their consciousness grew because a couple of a couple of new connections got made for them. And this is often what happens in consciousness. We don't see something, we don't see something, then a couple things fire and we go, whoops, wow, everything looks different now. And this is what happened as a, as these, uh, a 2020 congregation became aware of some new connections between religion and science. They began to recognize that creation is a continuing evolutionary process. Just unconsciously, sometimes we think, oh, creation, that's something that happened way a long time ago, somehow. No. Change that paradigm. Creation is a continuing evolutionary process. And this congregation recognized that, and they began to study it like the sacred text that it really is. They understood that cosmology is the speech of the cosmos. Jewish people in their synagogues, Christian people in congregations have often heard <coughs> the heavens declare the glory of God. The firmament shows God's handiwork. Day after day utters speech. Night after night gives forth knowledge. The cosmology is co constantly revealing information and knowledge to us. Ecology, which is a subset of cosmology, uh, is the speech of the house. Ecology comes from two Greek words, oikos, meaning house, logos, meaning word, or really more, uh, a better translation would be speech. So the speech of the house, and the house is the earth home that we share with all the, spe with, with all the species. These connections between religion and science uh, began to open up a grander story for the congregation. It shifted their consciousness as they began to see the great value of not just enjoying nature as such, but reading the text of nature for its own edification, wisdom, and guidance for its choices. Here's the quote from James Hansen, who says that if we burn even half of Earth's remaining fossil fuels, we will destroy the planet as humanity knows it currently. That was his comment this week on the G8 summit.